In this video, we're going on a tour through my alma mater, San Diego State University, SDSU, next on Jaycation San Diego. Hey, Jaycation Nation, welcome back to another video here on Jaycation San Diego. Today, we're gonna walk through memory lane and my old alma mater, San Diego State University. It's been in business since 1897. It started off as the San Diego Normal School, actually just down the road around Normal Heights and University Heights, but it eventually moved here to Montezuma Mesa in the La Mesa area. It is one of the bigger schools in all of San Diego and all of Southern California. It's the third oldest state school, I believe, in all of California. And I'm gonna talk about my five years that I spent here at SDSU. I graduated with a Bachelor in Communications and a minor in TFM, Television, Film, and Media. I'm just gonna walk through all the old buildings, give you a little tour of it in 2024, and talk about the admission, about how to get in. SDSU still getting money from me way after I graduate. Six dollars for two hours to park. I remember back in the day, the permits used to be about 128 for a semester. I gotta ask Brocation how much he pays now. So this is the practice facility area. Football team, this is where they practice. And then on the rooftop, there's actually a sports deck out there where you can also train. This is PS7. This is where I ended up parking as well. You also got the Aztec Aquaplex there, swimming pools, right next to Tony Gwynn Stadium. Yes, San Diego State legend and Padre, Mr. Padre himself, Tony Gwynn. Used to coach here and play here, basketball and baseball. And this is also a soccer pitch you can use. And then that building across the way, that's the Chapultepec dorms. I've spent a couple nights there, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Back in the day. Oh, wild college nights. And it is Tony Gwynn Stadium at Charlie Smith Field, another Aztec alum. We're now walking through the uh, P old Peterson gym where the basketball team trains. It's where you play pickup basketball back in the day. Aztec court at Peterson Gymnasium. And it's the home of Aztec Volleyball. And there's the women's team. So this is the front of Peterson Gymnasium. And we are gonna cross over. And this is the Aztec Recreation Center. This is where I used to go, the Ark. This was my gym, 12 bucks a month. And they had the top of the line stuff back then. This is like the mini frat row, but there's another frat row off of Montezuma. You can see all the Greek lettering here. This didn't exist back in the day when I went. Shake smart, fuel your lifestyle. So this is it, the Aztec Recreation Center. This was my favorite gym when I was in college. Right next to the Aztec Recreation Center, AKA the Ark, is Viejas Arena. This has been here for the longest time. I think it used to be called Cox Arena when I was in college. I've gone to many concerts here back in the day, a few Aztecs games. The Aztecs made it to the national championship for the first time ever in its school's history. I've gone to many concerts here. First time I saw NSYNC and JT was here at Cox Arena with Mom Cation. I remember I was still like 14 years old. I even left baseball practice just to see that. Hell yeah, I admit that. All right, uh, let's tour more. So it is Viejas Arena at Aztec Bowl. So this is built over the old Aztec Bowl area and you can see the old stands where they put all the uh, tour trucks and buses. With March Madness about to come up. Shout out to the Aztecs basketball team and the show, which is the student cheer section here at Viejas Arena. I believe that we will win, baby. This field right here used to be a softball field. And I remember on Cesar Chavez day, I played with Samahan against one of the frats and I hit a home run over the right field fence that went to the music building. And I've taken some classes here in this music building in the past. So fun fact, my minor was TFM, Television, Film and New Media. And some of my classes happened to be around here for my minor. And the music building, I still remember going to Dr. Owada's Filipino history class, which I learned a lot. And then there was a music class that I took here as well. I forgot the professor's name, but he taught us a lot about brass bands, New Orleans history. And I really did enjoy my minor. And I was so happy that I was a TFM minor. It really did come to use eventually for my career. So this music building right here definitely had some fun classes and educational things that I did learn that I take with me till today. And my Filipino roots, hearing about, you know, the Batan Death March, 
Dr. Owadas, may he rest in peace, he had a few published books and we learned a lot and that guy was like, he was hilarious. He was a hoot. For you, those of y'all that had Dr. Owadas, comment below. You remember his jokes, he was a pretty funny guy, but he was also pretty serious. And this is all new right here, Presby's stage. And then down this way, this is the Air Force ROTC area. I used to have classes here as well in a huge lecture hall. Oh yeah, I remember having flashbacks around this courtyard in between classes, waiting for my Audings, Audin Clark and Audin Mari, meeting them up in between classes. Those were the days. I was, in, I was in such a rush to graduate college. Now I'm fond about it. In the early 2000s when I did go here, they did not have bike lanes and walking lanes. That's for sure. I would totally use my e-board if I was going here these days. This is the iconic tower that you see in all the brochures for San Diego State University. And funny enough, right here is where they had the first ever Tagalog Filipino language class, Professor Osejo. And I was part of that first class ever and they offered it as a prerequisite for your language as a communications major. And I spent two semesters learning Tagalog here. One of the best classes that I've ever took. R.I.P. Ginoong Asejo. Maraming salamat. So in 2022, just getting out of the midst of the heavy part of the pandemic, 37,000 students were enrolled in SDSU and over 300,000 alumni have come through these walls and thank God I'm one of them. I never thought I was gonna graduate, guys. I still recall having to walk up this hill to get to my next class. You usually get about 15, 20 minutes to get to your next class if you're doing them all back to back. And it was definitely a struggle, especially in the mornings, because y'all know I ain't a morning person. Here is a map of the school. Right now we're here right next to Scripps Cottage, which is that building right there. A very historic building. And we're gonna go to where I started my education here at State. Storm Hall and Nassateer Hall. Holy crap, I'm having a late teens, early 20s flashback right now walking down these steps. Unfortunately, I'm filming on a Sunday and it's closed, but back in the day, they used to have a Taco Bell here and a convenience store. I used to get my cheeses and Gatorades, but that Taco Bell, I used to frequent it so much. It's called the Ellen Ochoa Pavilion. Wow, these used to be the oldest and dingiest and OG halls in all of SDSU. This is where you'd start your gen ed. I'm not sure if you'd start here now but this is where I started NASA tier hall and across the way is storm hall it looks like they may have replaced the windows and done some renovations but it looks a lot nicer than it used to oh man I still remember walking through these halls at storm hall in my comm classes. I still remember making friends that I still keep in touch with until these days in social media. And when class ended, the first thing I would do is go down these stairs and rush out of here and I'll show you where I used to park for a majority of the first half of my education here. Wow, this used to be an outdoor parking lot and it's now a soccer pitch. And when I was late to class, I used to park over here, but this is PS4. I used to love parking here. I'd have to line up sometimes to get parking. You'd have to be a really good follower and stalker to a car because sometimes there was no parking here. It's the perfect parking spot because it's near Storm and Nassateer Hall, but it also will get you to the Ark so you can use both sides of it and use your car as a locker to put your books in or your gym clothes. This was my favorite, favorite lot. I still remember being half awake and having to cross this bridge in the morning to class, being late. The Elena Choa Pavilion and they do have a cafe here, not a Taco Bell though. So this building's closed on the Sunday but I remember my communications class. It was a small communications class and we had Professor Martin, I believe. She was like a hyphen, but Professor Martin, she was a great teacher and I really learned how to write over that semester and led me to being a writer for the San Diego Chargers eventually. Right after Nassateer Hall, I still remember this building being brand new before I graduated. I think I took a geology class here. Oh no, this is the Arts and Letters building. Yeah, I think I might've taken geology here. Or it might be on the other side. No, it's on the other side of the campus, sorry. And wow, there is a Starbucks here now. How times have changed. I also spent a lot of time in this communication building. Wow, trip down memory lane. 
Is it open? So my very last class was down that hallway all the way to the right where those brown wooden doors were. Television, film, and new media. That's my minor. I remember taking my final final there, running to the Aztec store and grabbing an alumni license plate. That's how excited I was to graduate. And there are the bells sounding and I did have classes there as well. So I did graduate in May. I did have my last class in December, so I had to wait a whole five months to walk and get my diploma. It was well worth it because at the time I was already working full time with the Chargers. I still remember going to the Bernstein Theater and watching some classic movies. Those were the best classes. You just watch the movies and then do papers on them. Ah, the memories. So that tower making all the noise was the Hardy Memorial Tower. And they're called the Fletcher Chimes, the Bell Symphonic Kirillin. I used to have a class through these doors here and this is the back of Hepner Hall and the front is that picturesque postcard shot you get in all SDSU's brochures. Wow, School of Communication. I still remember walking these halls on a restroom break and there was like a job board somewhere around here. I gotta find that job board but it changed my life. Well, it was a board like this, an internship board and it had the Walt Disney College Program interviews. I thought about it. I love Disney. I wanted to work in sports and I remember grabbing that flyer, going to that interview here at SDSU by my counselor's office and I took a semester off because I had to switch major. I wanted to switch majors and take a break and I went to Orlando, Florida where it changed my life for the better. So me spending a semester at the Walt Disney World College program in Orlando, Florida or Kissimmee, that made me more of a traveler, made me more curious and more open-minded to meeting me. Uh, people from all over the world. My roommates were from Boston and Philadelphia, all over the United States. Before that, I only knew my inner circle in Mira Mesa and people around San Diego. So that really opened my eyes to being more diverse and meeting people from not just the United States, but eventually around the world. Now, this is the hallway right here. See, this overlooks the main plaza of SDSU. One of these rooms was my Tagalog class. I always understood Tagalog and I got straight A's in this class because it really helped me learn Tagalog. I think it was classroom 216. It was either 216 or 214. But I remember taking breaks and looking out here and hanging out with my Sama homies here. Some of my most memorable classes were here in Hebner Hall. My Tagalog class with Ginoong Aseho, may he rest in peace. Learned so much more about the Filipino language and the Tagalog language while I was there. I always understood it, but never spoke it and write it. And I got straight A's for the four semesters that I studied Tagalog here. And then when I moved to Barcelona is when I actually got to speak it more with my Filipino roommates. And now I can speak Tagalog slowly, but pretty much fluently. Also, who knew that this San Diego State Aztec would become San Diego's best local YouTuber in 2023. Was good. Thanks for the support, guys. This right here is the entry to the University Library, aka the Love Library, where I'd take many naps and I'd say quote unquote study at times. And then the computer center was right here. I used to use the computer here a lot too on my breaks. Now, this is where I would spend most of my time here hanging out in between classes. This was the convenience store. This is the Charles B. Bell Jr. Pavilion, but it used to be called West Commons. Oh no, East Commons. This was East Commons. Sorry, the other one was West Commons. And this is the SDSU bookstore right here. They have all new stuff. Look at this. Jamal's Chicken. There's a Rubio's. I think the Rubio's was here back in the day. Subway was always here. Halal Shack's new. Panda Express. They used to have that. I think it used to be over here. Baba's Pizza. And I used to hang out over in this other area right here. I remember coming here, hanging out with my best friend Jason, my homie Rendell, and my other homies from Mira Mesa. My cousin Benjo went here. Uh, he was like a senior towards my, uh, around my freshman year. I used to see them all around this area and I used to get all excited. Unfortunately, it's Sunday, but this is the Aztec store. I wanted to grab a hoodie over here, but of course I f chose a Sunday to film because I didn't want students to be walking around. And Jordan is the brand, is the Aztec brand. Oh man, they have some stuff here that I want. I'm definitely coming back to check out some Aztecs gear in the near future when I get back to San Diego. So we're gonna walk over towards the area where I used to pay for my tuition and and go to my career counselor. Yeah, I used the career counselor because I, at first I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the direction of my career, and she really did help guide me the right way. This is Student Services West. This is where I would go to pay for my tuition and get counseling. 
So let's uh, take a walk in here and see if it's changed. Nope, has not changed. You go up there and you pay for your tuition. That's the SDSU card office and the financial aid and scholarship area. And this is where I had the interview that changed my life and got me over to the Walt Disney World College program. Yep, they still have internship fairs. And this is where I went for that interview. It is career services, that's the place. So I had an interview with one woman here. She was really impressed with what I had to say and a few weeks later I got accepted to the college program at Walt Disney World and it all happened here and I remember the thing is here at SDSU I don't know if it's if probably still the same thing but you can take a semester off without any penalty you just don't pay your tuition and then you just come back you basically skip a semester so you're allowed once to skip a semester and at the time I did come in as a marketing major I failed the finance class and I was not enjoying it. I was so stressed with finance and accounting. That was not my strong suit. And I did not really like marketing that much. And I had to take that semester to really figure out what I wanted to do with my career. So it's not this building, but past this building, I used to have a geography class with Dr. Abbott. He's the one that goes on the news all the time after an earthquake happens. Always talks about tectonic plate shifts. I love those classes. I'm so enamored by geology and earthquakes and the way the Earth's plates move and converge. Yeah, really nerdy stuff, but I love it. And there you go, your spring 2024 career and internship fair. I definitely recommend doing an internship towards the end of your college education. It really helps. This right here is the office of the registrar. I remember having to come in here figure out my classes and my grades and what I needed to do to graduate and it was such a stressful time. I'll tell you a little about the nightmares I still have till this day. Years later, decade later of not graduating, but I did graduate. I just have a nightmare about not. This was not here when I went to SDSU. This is the Aztec Student Union. This area used to have a downstairs. It was a bowling alley and meeting space. It was a great area. I, I hung out here a lot when I was like 19, 20 years old. So this is the area, the vicinity of where I had all my AB Samahan meetings, my Filipino club, and I learned more about the Filipino culture, met all my fellow Phil Ams from San Diego, NorCal, and all over California. That's where I made a lot of great friends. That's where I met my Audin Clark. Uh, until this day, you guys see Clark on my Vegas videos. Raiders, baby. So they have built up. It used to be lower to the ground here. Wait a minute, they still have an Aztec's lanes here and an OG's. So this is the revamped Aztec lanes and there is an OG's pizza, which is a local San Diego pizza spot. LT used to be a sponsor for OG's. Also, don't forget to vote. That's coming up in November, regardless of who you vote for. Voting matters. They really hate the skateboarding here. No skateboarding across this bridge. <laughs> I had a lot of friends that lived in the dorms over here, like Odding Clark, but they also had a KB books here where I'd pick up my old books. I think it was copy to copy or a Cal copy where I used to have to print out pamphlets for classes. I can imagine nowadays that with technology, you have PDF books and PDF pamphlets online. But back then, man, you'd have to spend like six to a, 600 to a thousand bucks just getting books and those pamphlets. Those pamphlets weren't cheap either. And over this way is all the Mexican food spots like Trujillos. Kawhi Leonard loves going there even until this day. And then you hit Montezuma Mesa and there's a few more Mexican food spots. But now they have a Eureka, Trader Joe's and a Broken Yoke over this way. That didn't exist back then. The Jack in the Box and the 7-Eleven and the Trujillos, that all was there back when I was in SDSU. So over this way is where the trolley station is. The trolley started popping up towards the end of my education. The SDSU Transit Center is right here. Wow, they even have a Habit Burger Grill here now. That wasn't there when I was in college. So this is the trolley station and I did utilize the trolley my last two years at SCSU, or my last year actually, I utilized the trolley, it was still brand new. But the reason why I did that is because I was working full time with the chargers and I did have night classes and sometimes parking was so much of a headache. So I would park over at Grantville, get a trolley pass, and come over here and rush to class. And I used to do that quite a bit. My last year, I think I only had to go to school twice a week, but with a full-time schedule and working for the NFL, it was really hard to squeeze it in, but I had to, because I needed to graduate and get that diploma. This building right here, Adams Humanities Building, access is limited to red ID, card holders, and invited guests. This is Adams Humanities, and it's famously known to be haunted because I think a murder or something happened over here. But yeah, it's definitely haunted. I've been here at night 
night and I'm like creeped out. And some of my worst classes happened in this building. So I'm not fond of Adam's Humanities. Comment down below if you had a class and you're an alma mater here at SDSU at Adam's Humanities. I'm not sure if that's where my finance class was. It might have been in a different building, but oh man, that was such a nightmare. And I still have nightmares till this day about leaving this building and finding out I'm not graduating or something like that. And I wake up in this cold sweat and it happens like once every couple of years that I have that dream. And then I'm like, what the hell am I talking about? I look at my diploma and the guest room and I'm like, no, I graduated. This right here is the Cal Coast Credit Union Open Air Theater. It used to be called something else. I think it might have been the Viejas Open Air Theater or Sequan. I watched Franz Ferdinand here back in the day. You know Franz Ferdinand. You say you don't go, you say you don't know. I want you to take me out. Yep, and there is a look at the amphitheater. It dips below and you're overlooking the building with the computer center and the library. I like that, find your you in SDSU. If you're watching this video, chances are you're either an alumni, education, nationer, or you are looking to go to school here, or somebody that knows someone looking to go to school here. Well, the prerequisites are pretty hard. You have to have near to close to near perfect grades. You do have an advantage if you do live in Southern California, especially San Diego. I think there is a quota that San Diego State has to meet for uh, admitting students. I had a 3.67 GPA and a decent SAT scores and I got in here. It really depends on what you want to study because you know UCSD is more towards the biology, marine biology and uh, medical stuff. But here in SDSU, it's more catered towards communications, marketing. There's a really great teaching program here, a nursing program. So it really depends on what you want. I could have never gotten into UCSD because those career fields didn't interest me. SDSU was the perfect fit for this San Diegan. I still have nightmares about you, Adam's Humanities. Oh my God. Wow, I couldn't believe I have this much information about SDSU to talk about. So famous San Diego State Aztec alumni, Tony Gwynn Sr., Tony Gwynn Jr., Kawaii Leonard, Carl Weathers, RIP. He just passed away a couple of days ago from the filming of this video. Happy Gilmore, man. Such a great honor to be at the same school as Carl Weathers. And there are a ton of other San Diego State Aztec alumni. Vanessa Hudgens, I don't know if she was alumni, she might have dated someone here, me. But she wears an SDSU sweatshirt back in the day and it used to be like, that's my wifey, Baby V. So how about this for coming full circle? Five years of my life at San Diego State University, another 11 with the Chargers, and now I have a television show for KPBS, PBS. My show is called Out of the Boondocks. We just finished season two. It's a show about Filipino American creatives around San Diego and showcasing that they can have careers outside of the stereotypical doctor, lawyer, nurse career field that Filipinos usually expect their kids to turn out. Check out that show on KPBS. It really is rewarding now that I really started learning about the Filipino American culture and the Filipino culture more here at San Diego State. And now I have a TV show, my own TV show, Out of the Boondocks. Let's hope for a season three. And funny enough, KPBS was a big part of it. So shout out to John Decker and Jill Linder over at KPBS for giving us that opportunity. And my co-host Rio and her husband Will, our director. Shout out to you guys. And finally, this is Montezuma Road. You know, a lot of kids live across the streets in the apartments over here. You also got the frat row, old school down that way. More shops. If you keep going down College, which is just a street down, there's a Walmart and a really good birria spot around there. I wish I had my electric skateboard, the reverse flash back then, my miles board. Would have made life so much easier. But then again, walking keeps you in shape. I kind of feel bad. I should give Brocation my e-board, but he's pretty much about to graduate San Diego State. Proud of you, kid. Well, guys, that will do it for my alma mater, San Diego State University, and giving you a little tour and walk down memory lane. If you are looking to go to San Diego State and it's the school for you, I say go for it. It was the best five years of my life. I do not regret going to college at San Diego State. It was fit 
for me. It fit like a glove. It was the perfect, perfect scenario. Only other college I probably would have wanted to go to is the University of Barcelona. I didn't even know it existed when I was that young. It, had, it took me opening up my eyes and traveling the world to find out, oh, Barcelona would have been a great place for me to uh, go to college. But this San Diego boy loves San Diego State University, Aztecs for life. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Education San Diego, please do. Comment down below. Do you want me to do more campus videos? I could do UCSD and USD in the future. And maybe do a video about my career path with the Chargers and so on here in San Diego. Check out It's Always Sunny in San Diego. It's my Facebook group. We have over 9,000 San Diego lovers talking about the news and ongoings in America's finest city. And subscribe to my main channel, Jcation. Until the next one, when you're looking for your next vacation, it's San Diego. See you guys.